Hi hi Anitters! This week's video I am making the Soap Saver by Drops Design. This is a free pattern which I will link to below. Now this is supposed to be used as a hanging pouch for your soap to be stored in between washes. It helps to make it dry completely in between uses which helps reduce your wastage. But it can also be used as a tawashi Sorry if I said that wrong. This is essentially a body scrubber, but with the soap inside of it. This is especially useful when you have lots of small bits of soap bars left over, as you can pop them all in one of these pouches and use them until they're completely gone. So to make this, I am using my Bamboo Higher Higher 5mm interchangeable needles on a 22 inch cable. The pattern suggests using 4.5mm needles, however 5mm is the suggested tip for the yarn that I am using today. I will also be using my Darnet darning needle and some puppy snips. Now as this is a drops design, the recommended yarn is on the pattern page, which they have used 100% cotton aran. Yet I am continuing my stash busting mission of 2021 and using this off-white cotton blend from my box of random yarns. This is knitted flat and you can use straight needles for it. We do have straight adapters for our interchangeable range, however it's easier for me to use circulars whilst knitting at my desk here to show you, just so I'm not hitting the desk every few minutes and I don't have the space to use long straight needles here. To start this you need to cast on 41 stitches and to knit your first row as just normal knit stitch. Row 2 is to knit 2 stitches together and then make 1 yarn over. So you want to knit 2 together like so and then bring your yarn around before knitting your next 2 stitches together. So this is decreasing two stitches to one and then increasing nothing to another one stitch. So you want to repeat this for the whole of this row. Row three and four is to knit the entire row normally. For the rest of this pouch, you will be repeating rows two, three and four until your work measures 13 centimeters long or as long as you feel you need to fit your favorite soap in. Just make sure that your last row before casting off is a knit row. Now once you've cast off, you want to fold your work in half and we are going to be sewing up the side and bottom of this work to form a pouch. I'm just grabbing a locking stitch marker to pin my corner together to ensure that I sew this up evenly. As I will be turning this inside out, I'm using a basic blanket stitch for this, nothing too fancy. Just making sure that my stitches match each other where they meet. And that is your pouch. So now it's time to make the twisted cord for the drawstring. To do this, you want to cut three strands of yarn, each measuring two meters long. Now you want to tie these three strands together with a small knot at each end of them and then begin to twist your yarn. You want to keep twisting until it begins to resist and when it does you want to fold the cord in half and carry on twisting it. At this point you want to untie the small knots and tie new ones in at each end. I did ask for help from my lovely assistant, also known as my other half, to hold down one end whilst I twisted the other and tied the knots. Since this is a lacy pattern, you can pick a row near the opening of your pouch to thread your cord through the loops to make your drawstring. So I've chosen a couple of rows down from where I cast off. And this is your finished soap saver. This is an excellent easy lacy project which is perfect for anyone trying to become more eco-conscious. I'll pop a link to the pattern below for you, so please give it a go. If you want to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe. If you want to purchase any of the higher higher tools used in this video, there is a link to our stockers below. If you want to become a higher higher retailer, there is also a link to registration below. And until next time, happy knitting!